Hey, what is up? Welcome back to Science Squad. If you remember just a few days ago, I shared with you an app for icon management and it was called Icon Jar. It was specifically for Mac ecosystem. And you know, some of you commented on the previous video, hey, do you have something for Windows? Is there an alternative? While myself, I didn't know any alternatives because I use both Mac and PC, but more so Mac to do actual hands-on work. Um, I didn't know any alternatives. However, that's the best bit about the design community and you having, you know, leaving the comments down below, adding the alternative suggestions, ideas, uh, challenging my presumptions and, and things of that nature so that we can actually learn from each other. And one of the comments was to do with a Nucleo app. A Nucleo app, as you can see on my screen, is exactly the same what you would expect from Iconjar. It almost looks identical with some, you know, minor tweaks, but the best bit that it's for both Windows and Mac. And let me just show you a few key features why I liked it when I gave it a go. And it has slightly different take of how you should use your icons and how you should manage. And it's almost like per project basis. Now, you know, on the left hand side, we have these icon sets, which is simple. You have a Nucleo icon set, which has like thousands of icons here. However, they're locked, so you need to pay, I think, one off fee, which is like 100 bucks. So you can definitely do it. I think that's worth it. You know, the app itself is totally free. Then you also have other bits. So, for example, the app comes with a free Google fonts. As you can see, there's a lot of them, you know, and they're intuitively linked and stacked differently. So, for example, you have a subcategories here and you can see which ones are colored, which ones are glyphs and all styles. So you can also divert it by style and tag it. So, you know, in the future, you know exactly what is what if there is like a subset at the moment these are just google glyph fonts and you can see exactly what sort of icons you can use as from before you can you know either export it immediately as a file it has many more options and it's even compared to icon jar it has a little bit of more you know different bits you can export as svg png what i like to do i like to just drag out different bits and put it in my sketch file it's in just use it immediately and work with it so that's the simplest option and then of course you can add your own so for example i added this tilde and let me just show you how i could add let's say streamline free icons so for example the outline version I can just drag it in. It's going to ask me, hey, what's what it is. I can make a new set saying streamline or something like that. Easy as that. can just put it in. It's 100 icons. Automatically detect the style of them. You can also specify yourself. Is it colored? Is it outlined? Is it glyph? You can also copy those into a project, which I'm going to get to just in a moment, because that's, I think, the key need feature of this app. But if I just do it, boom, as you can see, it all imported and you can actually work with it. It comes as 24 pixels, the actual icons, but you can also adjust it. As you can see, there are grid styles to it. So depending on how specific they are, I think in the Google fonts, we have several different sizing. So you can actually see which ones are, you know, for which sizing. Again, if it SVG, it doesn't really matter, but it matters because you want to kind of like a match all the icons so they are consistently the same size from icon to icon. And then what you can do is also adjust these bits. As you can see, there is property so you can add information about that icon if you want to be that meticulous. And then you can also customize and adjust the stroke. You can add color to it. So for example, if you want to preview how it would look like as a red icon on or let's say a blue icon on with a frame around it, which I don't really like to do because that just makes it even smaller. And let's say if we take, I don't know, black background, something like that, then you can actually see exactly how it would look like. And if it's a couple of colors, you can adjust those too. But let me just do something like that. Let's say very razor like brand um, icons, which are glowing. That's that's OK, right? So imagine that that's what I'm after. Now, the best bit about Nucleo app is it's by project. If you notice this option at the project in my um, in the corner of an app, let me just resize it so you can see exactly what's the contextual menu. You're going to see my projects VA experience and I can add that icon to VA experience. This right hand side has, let's say, favorites and projects. So you can keep all your icons. Maybe you have thousands, hundreds of sets, for example and you just want to you know have them for future use because you love them so much or you can just add them to a specific project and then have them by project and in the project is basically a drawer so let's say if i'm working on something like i don't know cms app or data visualization of sorts i can have several projects working at the same time and then just jumping into my icons and assigning the ones i want to to a specific project for example these are cms those are data whiz 
and you know we don't escape anywhere we just basically stay in those different projects that's simple as that again it's a free app you should definitely download it especially if you're a windows user and you wanted the functionality of a container like you had in like icon jar in a mac environment if you like this video give a like subscribe to this channel if you have any suggestions or comments or tools you want me to check out and share with the community please do so in the comments down below and until next time